What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You clicked on this video because you're looking for a nice cheap upgrade to your Harbor Freight Badlands winch and I got one for you. Have you wanted to upgrade to the synthetic rope instead of having that wire cable? Well in this video I'm going to tell you how you can get this cheaper than list price with no coupons and I'm going to show you why you can get this that way and how to get it swapped out onto your winch. So stick around. Let's get the Jeep turned around so we can show you what's going on and dive right into it. So if you haven't seen my video where I did a whole review on the Harbor Freight winch, I'll put a link up top. Make sure you go check that one out. Um, that's a, more of a why I bought this winch and would I buy it again. Uh, to this day, I'd still buy it. Let's get to this. The synthetic rope. This is the Harbor Freight Badlands 12,000 pound rope. And the reason I got this on the cheap, and I can tell you guys, this does work. If you go to a Harbor Freight, check their returned area, or even ask somebody if they have any winch, synthetic winch cables that have been returned. A lot of these things, I've talked to some of the workers up there and some of the managers. People are buying these and returning them because they can't get them to fit on these winches. So you get them at a discounted rate. I'm talking not 20, maybe 30, 40, even $50 off the price of a, the like right off the shelf. I think they're about $130, $140. I got this for under $100. It is a brand new synthetic winch rope. And let me show you why people are returning these. This, this thing has not been used. Somebody tried to put it on and couldn't figure out how to get it on there. And this is gonna save you a lot of money. And what it is, it's this end right here. This end mounts on the Apex winch different than it does on this winch. So I'm gonna get this spooled off of here and I'm gonna show you why it doesn't work and what I'm gonna do to make it work. And hopefully this will help you guys. If you wanna get a winch cable and you wanna get the good one, this is it. And all you gotta do is change the end. Okay, so I got it unspooled, and you can see the cable itself goes inside the drum, goes past that keeper pin, and then comes out the bottom. Now the problem is, the new synthetic rope doesn't do that. It's supposed to have an eyelet with the bolt going through it to bolt it to the drum. But as you can see, this doesn't do that, and this rope is also a lot thicker than that cable so that is why people are buying these and they can't figure out how to get it on there or they don't want to mess it up or do some damage and they already spent 130 something dollars 140 150 dollars on the rope so they just return it and that's where it benefits you so all you got to do is get the rope on a discount and then get it to fit in there so that's what i'm going to show you here next the size of that if i can get that to focus it's a size 4 Allen. All you gotta do, put it in, pull that out, cable will slide out. Make sure you hang on to that. You don't want to lose it. So if you want to compare the two, you can clearly see the synthetic is a heck of a lot bigger than the cable. but. That's because they took the end, looped it around, and then rebraided it back in. So, you can see right here, it starts to narrow back down, which is almost the same size, if not the same size, as the steel cable. So what all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it back here, peel this back, and then just slowly take little bits off until it's the same size to fit in the drum. Now, if you're gonna say, well, that's gonna, you know, you're, you're taking away all the strength by cutting this down and then cutting some of the braiding out, but really you're not because 
the drum itself, what you want, you want this to make about seven to nine revolutions around the drum. The pin down here that's gonna hold it into the drum is only there to keep it from just unspooling and coming all the way out. All your weight when you're pulling is gonna be on the drum itself when you have a whole row of this wound around. So by cutting this off and getting it down and getting it to fit in there and held in, this is just to secure it to the drum if you're pulling it out. You never wanna run your winch all the way down to where this pin is taking the full load because you are no matter what, whether it's on this end or right here, it's gonna rip out. It can't hold that weight. So you always wanna have a full row of your cord or your whether it's wire or your rope wrapped around the drum to take the load. There we go. Just cut down. So we'll peel some of this back and see what it's going to take to get it to fit to the drum. I'll go see if it'll fit. Okay, so I wound up taking four strands out of the rope. I went pretty far back just so it's got plenty of room to go through the drum. And then I heat trunk the front and then slid the red part right back up, heat trunk it so it's all nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna feed it through the drum, get it bolted in. So I've got the rope uh, pushed through. There's the hole right there. We only gotta go in about that far, just enough to get it through. So I know that when I feel down to the bottom and I feel the tip of that, the rope has made it through. So let's get her fed in there. I'll still try to push it through pretty far. There we go. Okay, so you can see the rope is all the way through and it's sticking out about an inch. So I'm gonna back this drum up, put the set screw back in and then start feeding it and tightening it everything down. So when you're winding this in, you always want to do it under tension so that it, it winds up nice and even. So most people to tie it to a tree, they'll tie like a tire, spare tire to it and run it across the yard. I'm going to go ahead and keep hand tension on it for now. Let's go ahead and start winding it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop right there and show you. The rope changes from the red to the black, right? So that's kind of like a warning, letting you know you're getting down to the end. When you're out in a recovery situation, you want all this to be on the drum because all this is taking the load, not the set screw down over here on the end. So that's what I'm saying. By cutting that end off and putting that in there, you get to upgrade your winch cable to a rope and it's not going to affect it. Let's keep winding her in. All right, so there it is. And it's right here. That's the 12,000 pound, 80 foot, 3 8 inch synthetic rope, $129.99 on the website and at the store. 80 foot. It's actually more than what the steel cable is. I think the steel cable is like 60 foot. It does all fit on the spool. It's tight in there, but it does fit. But I'm telling you, this is the easiest way to get this cable, brand new, for under $100. It's incredible. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's something I've been wanting to upgrade because I was never fond of the cable anyway. But if you're looking for the best, cheapest way to upgrade your winch, make sure you go to the store, check the clearance aisle, ask a manager if anybody has returned a winch cable and if you can get it as an open box item. It's heavily discounted. 
and there's probably nothing wrong with it. So the other thing you guys are probably saying is, why did you keep the roller fair lead? You're supposed to switch this out. I probably will at some point. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe get a piece of built aluminum and try to have some kind of like a logo etched in it maybe. But I have watched a few videos where guys have run synthetic cables with the roller fair leads for years and they've never had a problem. This whole setup is pretty darn new. So the cable hasn't really eaten up any of the rollers, which is usually something that causes chafing and tearing on the rope itself as your rollers get eaten up. But for now, I'm gonna rock it with the rollers on here. The other downside, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. The hook that comes with the wire rope, or the wire cable, does not fit on the new winch cable. So you are gonna have to upgrade this. If you're looking to upgrade your cable, from cable to synthetic rope, this is the easiest way to do it, the cheapest way to do it, and I'm thrilled about it. So that's gonna do it for this video. You guys check out some of the other videos. I'm working on putting the, uh, the roof rack together. That one's gonna take some time. There's a whole lot of cutting, welding, and all that good stuff, so stick around for that one. Like I said, I am working on that. But for now, if you're looking to upgrade your winch cable, it's the best way to do it. So head on over to your Harbor Freight store, ask a manager, look in the clearance aisle, see if anybody's returned one of these. Cause like I said, odds are, there's nothing wrong with it. And you get a nice upgrade for cheap. But that'll do it. You guys take it easy. See ya.